so this guy wants pins attached bar. So now we have this like orange lady. I'm going to show you two ways. So let's just try and open. So auto um, intro digital. And then here, AutoCAD intro. See how it actually sees the picture of it? So let's see if it will bring it in. So if I do open, you get this. I just tried to open my CAD file in Illustrator. And it doesn't work. It says the file AutoCAD intro is an unknown format and cannot be open. So some people see this and they go, okay, you can't do that. So then they go back to Illustrator, I mean AutoCAD, they print a PDF and then bring the PDF, which you can do. A better way to do it is just go to your AutoCAD and when you're here, do a save as. And instead of saving it as AutoCAD 2018, save it back to 2007 or 2004. You could try 2010, but I know 2007 at least. So the only thing I'm changing is that. And hit save. It says exist. You want to place it? Let's say yes. Now let's just try and do the exact same thing. Open that same file open and say so now we don't get the error it can read it so it's not that illustrator can't read a CAD file it's that illustrator cannot read a 2018 version AutoCAD file because has a lot of more new stuff in it that they haven't worked out yet I'm sure eventually you'll be able to import it with no problem um, but this way you can do so if we do original size it will make it whatever size it was um, we can tell it to bring scale to fit artboard scale to fit a certain a scale by a certain percentage so if I wanted it here to make it scaled I could do that I can bring in my model space or I could tell it to bring in my layout instead so you know how we had laid that out in 11 by 17 we could try that original size let's see I never I never do this but let's try it um, this one please never check this option <laughs> Because the whole point of this workflow is that it allows you to keep your layers. So I see some people are like, you can't do this workflow, it doesn't work. And I bring it in, I just have one layer. And then you check this one and you see that they have checked merge layers. So whenever you can, if, it, if it's going to help you, you want to keep your layers. We went through all that work already in AutoCAD to separate it out. Why would we want to lose the layers, just open it in Illustrator and then remake the layers in Illustrator? It doesn't really help to work that way. But if you do this, it helps you preserve them. So let's hit OK. And then it's done something crazy. So let's see how big is my artboard. I'm going to just show my rulers real quick. Put this in inches. So yeah, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So let's just close that. And then I'm going to do the same thing. File open. And then let's open it to scale to fit artboard. And we can just grab the model space. Make sure you don't scale, don't select merge. Um, and then it brings it in like that. Here I have the artboard tool selected. Normally you're like this. Notice up here at the top um, if you click the artboard tool it changes and we can click that and it'll go to horizontal so this looks good that looks like what I want to see so it started off and if you notice it actually kept the colors from uh, AutoCAD so if we look here for my layers I have all my AutoCAD layers so that's gonna make my work in Illustrator so much easier um, because I can actually work the way I was in AutoCAD. Another way you can try and do this is let's just make a new file. I'm just going to say okay whatever size this is. Um, I guess it makes you, it forces you to pick some. Tabloid. Tabloid is 11 by 17. If you change points here, you'll see. So we could do this. Let's just try now. Let's make this landscape. I see this a lot. People place. 
So let's place that illustrate that CAD file and let's put it here. So if I click one time, and look, it looks great, right? Does that keep your layers? No. So if I open this up, I have a group, and when you open up the group, we have every single option. So, okay, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna put this over. We do have something better than a black and white drawing. Notice how we have colors. Um, I'm in the group now, if you double click it, just like a lot of modeling software, when you double click like SketchUp when we were using that earlier, you click onto it, we can see here it's yellow, right? And it's got this weird line weight. If you look here, sometimes you'll get a file and it doesn't have layers, but they actually have line weight. I noticed this with like the cities drawings. Sometimes they give you like planning drawings and stuff and they're PDFs. And if you can open the PDF in Illustrator and it's still vector, that's super helpful because you can go in there and select like let's say they have all their buildings one color the trick is you need either the line weight or the line color to be the same across the ones you want to select because once I do this I can pick one of them let's say that yellow one you go select same you can do fill and stroke stroke color in this sense you can do stroke weight so let's do color so now it's grabbed all the objects that had that color and what I can do under my layers I can make a new layer uh, might not let me in isolation mode what is this so here let's get out of this mode I don't want these all to be grouped so I'm gonna right click and tell it ungroup so that should let me do this now. So I'm going to pick the yellow, select, same stroke color. And now I can make a new layer. And notice to the right, I have this little guy. It's like a blue square. That's telling you you have objects selected. And since it's on layer one, that means they're on this layer. If you grab that and drag it up, now I've moved those objects to the other layer. So if I turn off layer one, I can see all these objects. So another cool thing with this side of the layer is um, if you click on a layer, it doesn't really do much besides highlight that layer. So now you're drawing on that layer. If I click here, I can grab that. I can grab this one. I could do this to pick all of them. You can also just click that little bubble. So if I click that bubble, it will select all objects on that layer. So you can see how if you didn't have the layers preserved, you could spend some time now recreating them as long as you have something that's unique about the line weight. If you get it in there, it's like all of them are exactly the same color, exactly the same line weight, exactly the same fill, then you'll have a hard time because you got to manually pick the ones and move them to layers. Or if you're smart, you would save your CAD back to 2007 and then just bring it in and all that work is done for you. Like you don't have to do anything as long as you do file open and not file place. That's the trick.